we're very lucky in having a president that cares about science. And it's not always that the person that's actually giving you the award has some appreciation of the award that's given. I've been a faculty member since 1967. So that's a long time ago. 1967. And uh, primarily your specialty, your area of specialty is? Is uh, new materials research. So in physics? Yeah. Okay. Well, physics and electrical engineering. I was, I was hired, actually, in the electrical engineering department because when I came to MIT, uh, the physics department was almost entirely high-energy physics. And that isn't the brand of physics that I particularly do, but I have background you know, that covers many things. I moved to Arlington in um, September 1960. That's quite a long time ago. And uh, why did I move there? Well, we moved to the uh, uh, area uh, maybe uh, two or three months before that time to take a position at uh, the MIT Lincoln Laboratory. But my experiments were not done at Lincoln Laboratory, but they were done on campus. So I wanted to live halfway between the two so I could go be in the morning when I got up. I could decide, well, today I'm going to MIT. Oh no, today I'm going to Lincoln Lab. I could go either way. We uh, visited one house when we were looking for homes in Arlington, first house. We never looked for another one. We walked in there. It looked just absolutely fine. Price was right. People were very welcoming. We moved right in. That was it. My parents had no knowledge what I was doing. And but they didn't uh, object to, they were pretty happy, you know, when I was going through high school. And then uh, um, after I deviated from becoming a, a, a school teacher, they were happy as long as I was going to become a school teacher because they could understand that becoming a scientist was a little bit difficult for them. So uh, the field I am is very technical, and it doesn't matter what your sex is. So that's one factor. The second factor is that MIT doesn't seem to care what your sex is either. So you, know, you come here, you do your job best you can. Has anyone ever told you that you, know, you, you served as a real role model to them or an inspiration? Oh, I get that all the time. But it's not limited to women. I, I get that also from men. Um, well, I don't mind being a role model if that's what people like. But I mean, I, I'm not doing any of this to be a role model. I'm doing this because this is what I want to do. And, and I'm very happy to help other people because that's what it's all about. People help me. I should help other people. Mm -hmm.